Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Wow, look at all these neat art supplies you have. Paintbrushes, markers, and colored pencils. Awesome. Oh, but they're in a little bit of a mess. They're a little bit disorganized. They're a little bit messy. It's going to be hard to find the things you need if you want to do an art project. What do you say we organize and count these art supplies? Oh, it might take a while if we count them one by one, though. Is there a way we can count them faster? Well, I'll tell you a little secret. Making groups can help you count more easily. Let's start by organizing the paintbrushes. Okay, we're going to make a group of 10 brushes so that they're easier to keep track of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's tie them together so that they stay in their group of ten. This group is called a ten because there are ten objects in it. Do we have enough to make another ten? One, two, three, four, five. No, we don't have enough to make another ten. A ten must have exactly ten things in it. Now these individual paintbrushes are called ones. So we have one ten and five ones. Uh, but we were counting here, right? What number is that? Let's look at this special chart that tells us the number. This side says tens, and this side says ones. Under the word tens, we write how many groups of tens we have. We have one group of ten, so let's write the number one. Under the word ones, we're going to write the number of single paintbrushes we have. And we have five paintbrushes, so let's write that number here, five. Then can you read the number in the chart? It's 15. This means that one ten and five ones is actually the number 15. And just to be sure, we can check this by counting. Well, we already counted the group of 10, so we don't need to count that again. We can count on from there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 paintbrushes. Now it's time to move on to the markers. Just like before, we're going to make groups of 10 to help us count quicker. Let's start by counting one group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that's one group of 10. It looks like we have enough markers to make more groups of 10. What do you think? Let's try. And here's another group of 10 and another group of 10. How many groups of 10 do we have now? Three or three tens. Write the number three in the chart in the tens place. And how many ones are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ones. Write the number six in the ones place of the chart. And can you read the number in the chart? It says, that's right, 36. This means that three tens and six ones is actually the number 36. But just to be sure, we can check this by counting. First, count the tens. Because each group has 10 markers, we should count by tens. 10, 20, 30. And now we count by ones. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. You have 36 markers. You're doing a great job counting tens and ones. And now, last but not least, let's count the colored pencils. Wow, there are a lot. How many groups of 10 are there? One, two, three, four, five. There are five groups of 10, or five tens. So we're going to write the number five in the chart under the word tens. And how many ones are there? One, two. There are two ones. So we write the number two in the chart under the word ones. And what is the number in the chart? 52. But let's check. First, we count the tens. Because each group has 10 colored pencils, we should count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now we count by ones. 51, 
52. Yeah, you have 52 colored pencils. We just counted up all the art supplies so quickly I can hardly believe it. Way to go. Now they're organized and ready to be used for fun art projects. We've just learned that counting is easier by making groups of 10, which are called tens. If you don't have enough to make a group of 10, those are called ones. We can write the number of tens and ones in a chart and then read the number to know how many objects we have. This is a very important skill, so we'll keep practicing it together. Now that our work's done, it's time to play. I think I'm going to draw a mighty owl. What are you going to draw? See you soon.